Hello dear students and welcome to the lab number 10 diffraction of our physics 2 section. As you know from your physics lectures, uh, light have a um, particle wave dualism which states that the uh, light can be either wave and particle. So today we are going to consider some cases of proving that the light can be the wave. So, uh, three different physical phenomena proves that our light is the wave. So, first one is diffraction, second one is interferation, third one is the dispersion. So, today we are going to consider and we are going to make some experiments with diffraction. So, uh, when the light counters an obstacle, or in our case it's an aperture, light bends around the corner of the obstacle or through the aperture, of region of shadow predicted the ray optics. So this is, uh, this calls the diffraction. Okay, let me explain you about our equipment for doing today's our lab work. So as a light source, we use our, our this light sensor. So here we have two nodes to control horizontal and the vertical adjustment. So uh, wavelength is uh, 650 nanometers. Okay, and we also have different slits here, so that's a multiple slit. Today we are going to use double slit part. Uh, as you can see, we have different uh, measurements here, A or D. So A is the width of slits, and the D is the separation of slits in millimeters. So here, so today uh, we are going to work with 0.04 A and D 0.5. Okay, and also single slit. Uh, today we are going to work with 0.4 A. It should be the same width uh, as a with double slits. Okay, uh, and also it has a patterns, so it shows different kind of pictures. Again, okay, we'll see, and I'll show you. Okay, and also we have aperture here, which connected to our light sensor. So, and here linear translator, which connected to rotary, rotary motion sensor here. And when I'm moving it, as you can see, my pulley is rotating, so it can measure its position. And all this equipment is in my optic bench. Okay. Uh, now let's go to first task of our experiment is to see our patterns of single slit. Uh, here we I'm turning on my laser, and as you can see, I have different patterns here: square, hexagonal, dots, and holes. So the distance where of my laser is zero centimeters here. Distance of my slit is eleven centimeters here. here. Okay, and also have white paper to see so this is our light uh, on square patterns uh, and uh, next is hexagonal this one okay the next is dots and next thing is holes okay that's about that's all about first task so before we start our experiment, let us make everything ready. So as I said before, uh, our laser is in distance 0 cm and my slits should be at the distance of 11 cm. And I already choose the uh, here, I'm sorry, this one. I choose the A width 0 0.04 millimeters and the slit separation 0.5 millimeters. Okay. And also we have to be make sure that the, our aperture is as uh, as far as possible from our laser. So our aperture is in the distance of 103 centimeters. And also about light sensor, we should uh, choose the middle bottom here in our sensor. Okay, and, and one more settings in our capstone. 
Uh, firstly, we should choose rotary motion high sensitivity sensor to 50 Hz. So that means that I will have uh, 50 measurements per per one measurement of distance, and also have uh, 50 Hz of rotary motion sensor. Okay, and we also should go to the settings of rotary motion sensor here, and the linear accessory choose rack and pinion here. So, okay, that's all about. And also, yep, I should have to choose here light sensitivity percent of scale max. Okay, here position. Okay, that's all. Okay, uh, I choose here width of my aperture as a 0 0.1 millimeters uh, to have to obtain the um, clear graph. Okay, and the one more thing that I have to when I'm moving it, I have to hold it with my two hands, like to make it to make it stable. Okay, let's go. I'm pressing the button run and. Uh, Slowly moving it. Okay, stop. As you can see, we'll have some kind of graph here with the maximums. Uh, our next task is to find our uncertainty of our light intensity. Okay, for that, what, I, what we should do, we should change here position to time here. Okay, and we will measure different maximums. Okay, and the record. Okay, our intensity in this value right now. So, as you can see, when I'm moving it, it comes to at some value of maximum here, for example. So, just okay, take find that distance of that. Okay, hold it for a second here. Okay, now let's find the next maximum. Okay, it's approximately here. And again, hold it for a second. Okay, and next maximum is here. Okay, and we should next find. Okay, this is the last maximum. Uh, and uh, we sh what we should do is to copy, for example, that part here. Okay, select that copied data and uh, in Excel find their mean values and standard deviation. So, uh, mean value of their standard deviation will be uncertainty of hold this graph. Okay, now we continue with uh, single slit experiment. So, as I said before, um, configuration is the same. Here is 0 0.04 millimeters width. A distance of my slit in on 11 centimeters here. Okay, but one thing that I've changed uh, my width of my aperture here th that was in 0 0.1 millimeter, and so now it's on one millimeter here. Okay, now let's see how, how our graph looks like. 